Good morning. Welcome to day 105, June 2nd. It's 6.45. I just left Morgan A. Stewart shelter. And right now it is cool and not humid. Not as humid as it was yesterday and a little breezy. So I'm hoping that it stays that way. Last night the sun was out and it was a little breezy and I had hopes that things would dry off but of course sometime in the middle of the night it rained and so everything just has a dampness about it yesterday I was with another through hiker actually a girl that started the same day that I did but we've just been leapfrogging each other and she asked me if I was getting everything out of the trail that I expected and I really hadn't thought about that but I told her what I didn't expect was to have so much wet weather and for things to just be damp and wet all the time I mean it's got to the point now where if you're in town a hotel or a hostel you're dry and if you're out here you're wet and even the stuff that you put in your dry bag you got to get it out and use it at night and it just soaks up the moisture and yesterday I sweated so much that by, by midday my shirt was just dripping with sweat it was like it was like I've been walking in the rain but I've checked the weather and it looks like the temperature is not going to be as high I think it might be 80 today but going into next week it's going to be cooler still partly cloudy 10% chance of precipitation this was the forecast for Pauling, New York which is what I'm close to now these are rocks you see this has pretty much been what New York's been like when I said that the trail in New York is rugged this is what I'm talking about here But today will be my last full day in New York, doing 20 miles to 10 Mile River Shelter. And I think we will actually cross into New York, oh, excuse me, Connecticut today. be in Connecticut you have to do you have to cross back into New York for I don't know maybe a mile or so it's not far and then you cross back into Connecticut permanently so and one other thing I know why there's a university in New York called Slippery Rock because you do a lot of walking on these rocks in New York and where that's black right there, that is deceptively slippery. And so much so that I don't want to walk on it because I have had several close calls moving at normal speed thinking that that would be something good to step on. And it turns out to be a slippery rock. All right, that's going to be it for this morning's opening segment. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday, enjoying your weekend. Till next segment, this is Reboot. 
heading north. It's 8.45 and I've reached the south end of Nuclear Lake. Gut Hook says that it's called Nuclear Lake because there used to be a plutonium plant on the shore of the lake somewhere. And in 1972 they had an explosion and that caused the plant to be shut down. But now it's deemed safe for the AT to pass by here. But Gut Hooks did say that you shouldn't drink the water. But it looks pretty clear to me. I wouldn't drink it anyway. I'm sure they test it. This would be a nice little camping spot, although I don't think it's allowed because it's not an official camping spot. And in New York, you're only allowed to stay in designated camping spots. But this would be a good one. This is an unnamed view. Looking east. It's about 10.30. This is the Telephone Pioneer Shelter. I stopped here for a snack and to use the privy. Which the privy is... Right up there. And I guess the tent spots are over there, but they don't look very level to me. So if you're tenting, you might consider another option. And the water source is a stream right off the trail on the way in. I'm crossing West Dover Road, and this is the Dover Oak, which is the largest oak tree on the Appalachian Trail. It's estimated to be 300 years old and it's six feet in diameter. I thought the Keffer oak was the largest but I put the construction barrels in the picture to kind of give you some scale. Interesting how it's twisted at the bottom. Looking across at the other mountain, I see the unnamed rock cropping that I was filming from a couple of segments ago. The breeze is uh, keeping the humidity down and it's cooler than yesterday, so, so far so good. New York has a boardwalk as well. This is the Appalachian Trail train station and you can, the train stops here and you can take a train into New York City. And I actually met a guy at Telephone Pioneers Shelter who had come in this morning on this train. He's going to do a day hike to Nuclear Lake and come back here and take the train back into the city just to get a day out of the hustle and bustle of New York City. I'm crossing through this pasture and I came upon this old structure. Uh, I'm assuming that's an old water tower for this farm. 
I don't know, maybe if there's somebody local that knows what it is. I don't think it's a silo. So this is the second shelter where I've had this type of hand pump as a water source. Well, I just crossed Hoyt Road and turned off of it and saw this. Welcome to Connecticut. It's not really checking off New York yet because tomorrow we'll have to cross into New York for a short distance. I'm not sure how far it is and then come back into Connecticut for good but this is still a nice milestone here. This is going to be the wrap up video for day 105. I'm at the 10 mile river shelter and the privy is right over there. It's a decent privy. Um, it could use a good sweeping out with cobwebs and dirt. There was a hand pump up there. And then once again, I'm not staying in the shelter, I'm staying in my tent. Uh, this is a strange shelter design because I don't know why they leave that open. But I saw one other one like that, I think in Tennessee. set my tent up over here. It's actually very pleasant tonight. The temperature and humidity are down. The bugs aren't bad here. So hopefully my tent has dried out some. My shirt that was soaked with sweat uh, has dried out quite a bit. So everything's getting better. Uh, weather condition wise at least for today for this evening so hopefully it'll hold out through tomorrow uh, while I go into Kent and pick up a package and I'm gonna brush my teeth and get my tent and produce a video and probably upload it 
And that's going to be it for day 105. So until tomorrow, it's all good in the woods.